In this video, we're going to discuss how to put a logistic curve in the form that WebAssign accepts from the form we get in the graphing calculator. So, you can see here the form that, the, that WebAssign wants and the data. So, we'll go over to our calculator. And now, we're going to go to Stat. We're going to edit our lists and put in our data. Here is my data input. Remember to always check to make sure your lists are the same length to make sure that the data is correct. If they're not the same length, you'll get an error. Now, we'll go to Stat, Calculate, and we'll go to Logistic, and we will get our curve. And if you notice, the form that the calculator returns is not the same form that WebAssign wants. So let's talk about how to get those to be the same, how to reconcile that. So the form we get from the calculator looks like this, y equals a over 1 plus a e to the negative bx. Now the form we want to enter into WebAssign is y equals n over 1 plus a b to the negative x. They're very similar. a and n are identical, just different letters. The only difference is the way that they've done the exponential function, and we've seen both bases before. So let's pull those apart. For ae to the negative bx in the form from the calculator, well that's the same as ab to the negative x in the form that WebAssign wants. We can cancel out the a's, and we get down to e to the negative bx equals b to the negative x. We can take this a step further because we can take a negative x out of each of, the, each of these. So it turns out that e to the b, the b being the b we get from the calculator, is equal to the b that WebAssign wants. I know it's a little confusing using the same letter. Um, notice one is italicized, one's not. They're not the exact same b. So we're going to take the b that we got from the calculator, and we're going to make it an exponent of e. That's going to get the b that I need to enter into WebAssign. Last thing, if we go back to a problem in WebAssign, Notice it said to round B to three significant digits and A and N to two significant digits. So we're going to take our B and we're going to round it off to 0 0.942. We're going to take our A and same A we get from the calculator and round it off to 2.2. And we'll take our N, which is the C from the calculator, and it gets rounded off to two significant digits, which is 2200. Now we can enter our model into WebAssign.